To replace your front brake pads, you will first need to safely lift and support your vehicle and remove the front wheels. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Before you begin working on the brakes, check your brake fluid reservoir. You will need to compress the caliper piston in which will cause brake fluid to travel back up into the reservoir and you will need to make sure there's room for it. Red arrow. Carefully clean around the reservoir before you open it, as you do not want any dirt or debris getting into it. Be prepared to use a turkey baster or fluid pump to extract some of the brake fluid if necessary. Make sure whatever you use is clean. You do not want any contaminants getting into your fluid. Disconnect the wear sensor from the harness, indicated by the red arrow. Place a large flathead screwdriver between the caliper and the retaining clip, red arrow. Pry the clip away from the caliper and set it aside. Use caution when removing the clip as it is under pressure and as always you should be wearing your safety glasses. There are two 7mm Allen bolts holding the caliper to the mounting bracket. They should be covered with plastic caps but our project car did not have them. If yours have them, remove the covers, then remove the 7mm Allen guide bolts, red arrows. If you are reusing your guide bolts, check them for wear and tear, red arrow. It is a good idea to clean them up with a Scotch-Brite pad and put a little white lithium grease on the smooth part of the bolt, red arrow. Pull the caliper back off the rotor, red arrow. Sometimes the brake pad will stay in the mounting bracket on the exterior pad, yellow arrow, and sometimes it comes off with the caliper. If the caliper is really stuck, you can push in on the piston side, compressing the piston and give you more room to wiggle it off. With the caliper off, you can see the two brake pads, green arrows, along with the one brake wear sensor, yellow arrow. Don't forget to check the condition of the rubber boot protecting the caliper piston, red arrow. The inner pad has a clip, red arrow, that inserts into the caliper piston. The new pads will be thicker than the old ones and will necessitate pushing the brake piston back into the caliper to make room to get them over the disc. Use a large C-clamp, yellow arrow, and one of the old brake pads, red arrows, and compress the piston, green arrow, back into the caliper. Don't forget to check your reservoir for the fluid level. If your pads do not come with a peel-off anti-squeal pad on the back, you may want to apply a little anti-squeal paste to the back of your pads. Top up the brake fluid and put the cap back on the reservoir. Make sure to pump the brakes a few times before driving. Brake pads need to seat correctly or bed to the disc to avoid any damage and give you maximum performance. Please bed your brake pads according to the manufacturer of the pads that you purchased. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.